For two years, Salt Lake City's Regent Street has been blocked off as crews transform it into a new destination. But change is nothing new to that old city block. Keith McCord gives us a glimpse of the storied history. New street lighting and paving and, and everything else. It's going to be a fantastic place uh, when it's all done. The reinvention of Regent Street is well underway, but this transformation is actually one of several the downtown alley has seen in its 145-year history. It wasn't part of the original plat, but by the 1870s, this street had been carved out for activity that didn't necessarily belong on Main Street or State Street. The railroad, more than anything else, convinced city planners to carve out what was then called commercial street, not the actual railway itself, but what it brought to town. It brought with it an increasingly diverse population of individuals. A few of those occupations landed on commercial street. In short time, it became Salt Lake's red light district. There tended to be so-called respectable businesses on the ground floors, restaurants, secondhand stores, uh, uh, saloons even. Upstairs, uh, second, third, fourth stories would be room, rooming houses that, that sometimes had prostitutes. It's not that prostitution was ever legal in Utah, but for decades on Commercial Street, police controlled it as a kind of a de facto licensing. They hauled them in once a month and they charged them a $50 fine and gave them a health examination. By the late 1910s, newspapers had another Commercial Street phenomenon to write about, Jack Dempsey. For a while, he worked with uh, uh, a guy named Peter Jack who owned a, a saloon on uh, Commercial Street, owned a couple of them over, over the years. Dempsey remembered his time on Commercial Street as the closest he'd ever come to being a bum. But he honed an aggressive boxing style and ended up fighting for the World Heavyweight Championship. Thousands listened back home as Dempsey pummeled Jess Willard in less than 10 minutes. It was such a big deal. They put loudspeakers out on the street in Commercial Street so people could hear uh, blow by blow. They could hear the, they could hear the fight. Dempsey held the heavyweight title until 1926. By then, change was coming to Commercial Street, starting with a new name, Regent Street, and the dense multi-story buildings and row houses began coming down. Larger scale institutions start to be located on, on Regent Street. By the middle of the century, uh, there's a lot of activity around the newspapers. Parking garages really dampen the nighttime vibrancy the street had been known for. But now, this latest transformation may very well bring personality back to Regent Street. Anything that uh, sort of revitalizes downtown makes it a, you know, gives a sort of street life that, that, that people can enjoy. I think it's a good thing. Deanie and Mike, the building behind me is the sole survivor of Regent Street's 19th century bodier period, but coming soon will be a new boutique hotel that will be built right next to it. Now, coming up at primetime 5 at 6.30, Carol Makita will take us inside of the new Eccles Theater going in at the other end of the block. On Regent Street, I'm Keith McCord. So fast.